still left with those blue skies until sunset later this evening. 85 degrees. It's official at the airport today. Average high 79 degrees. The record 90 degrees set in 2004. Seeing those numbers gradually come down. 83 now at the airport. Still looking at that wind from the east at 11 miles per hour. Still looking at that push of moisture too. That will lead to some more fog later tonight. It feels like 87 though, so we still have the humidity we're holding on to. Upper 70s around Buras. Low to mid 80s on the north shore as well. Into evening, upper 70s by 7. We'll hold steady to those temperatures into the overnight hours early tomorrow morning. Looking at some 60s likely north of the lake tomorrow morning as well. Fog develops late tonight. Looking at the temperatures across the country, lots of heat across the south, much cooler air across the central United States into the Great Lakes as well. That's where the cold frontal boundary actually warm front is straight from Texas up into the around the Appalachian mountain chain, and then we get into a cold front. So that's why we're seeing much cooler air, even some snowflakes flying for some parts of the north. Tomorrow, our rain chance only 10%, just a stray shower, a little bit higher Thursday and Friday. We may sneak in a spotty storm, nothing severe. By Saturday, we'll dip back down to 20%. So starting off tomorrow morning, some fog in spots, upper 60s north, 70s on the south shore tomorrow afternoon, middle and upper 80s again. So more water hydration tomorrow afternoon. Sunscreen if you'll be doing work outside. There's that chance for a stray shower. We head back into Wednesday night, Thursday morning, more upper 60s, low 70s. But you'll notice by Thursday afternoon, the coverage of scattered showers increases a bit. And then heading into late Thursday and Friday, there's that brush of moisture building back in. So umbrella weather towards the end of the week. We're tracking tropical storm Epsilon southeast of Bermuda by about 720 miles or so. The system is a little bit stronger as of this afternoon. 65 miles per hour forecast to become a Cat 1 hurricane by late tonight, early tomorrow morning, making a very close brush near Bermuda by early Friday is a Cat 1 hurricane and then curving back out into the open waters. And no impacts on the United States aside from indirect impacts uh, with increased swell. And then this area here in the Western Caribbean Sea really has struggled due to upper level wind shear, which we love to see, especially this time of the year. That wind shear expected to be a part of this situation through the end of the week. It will gradually drift west over the next few days, but it will increase the moisture over the Gulf, which will also contribute to our small increase in rain chances Thursday and Friday. What about next week? This is the final week of October into early November. Some indications that we're going to have a frontal boundary coming through that may take us back down into that fall field. Right now it looks like a very likely below average setup for areas north of us. We're in that light blue zone, which means slightly below average. We'll keep our eyes on this. Maybe we'll get back down into those 70s tonight. If you have some quiet time, some darker skies nearby, look for the Orionids meteor shower. It peaks tonight into early Wednesday morning. Doesn't produce a lot of meteors at peak 10 to 20 per hour generally, but something to look forward to three to six feet on those seas today. So certainly more active three to eight feet tonight and tomorrow. The winds coming in northeast 15 to 20. So there's your chance for some scattered showers. Thursday and Friday, maybe some isolated rumbles of thunder by the weekend. Looking good Sunday, of course, we're tagging that day. Exciting day for all Saints fans, 86 degrees. So even though a front comes through Saturday, no cool down for us. And then we'll have a chance for some spotty rainfall into early next week.